Well, hello there, my friends. Welcome back to the Scott Reed Project. Now, do you ever have one of those days when all you crave is a decent burger? Well, for me, today is that day. I really fancy a good, well-made cheeseburger. But as you know, here on the SRP, we don't do things by half, hence my selection of meat for my burger. When we make an ultimate burger on the SRP, we make the ultimate burger. So what have we got then for my basic patty? Well, the king of beef, a lovely slab of brisket, have a look at that. That will add a lovely texture, really beefy, and then this, the pièce de résistance. Just have a look at this. This is sirloin steak. Just check the marbling in there. Now, normally you might make burgers with chuck, blade, shoulder, to get the fat content, but I think these two together is all we need. And of course, you know, these are seriously, seriously great cuts of beef. Anyway, I've jived enough. What I need to do then is trim this down. I'm gonna take just this little bit of sinew out here, take a little bit of the fat off, put it through the mincer. Easy as pie. Just have another look at that. Hey, can you see that? Just look at it. That is the map to beef heaven. Just follow the lines, baby. I'm not worrying about that fat. Like I said, plenty of marbling in the sirloin. And yes, before you say it, I know it's sirloin steak, I know it's decadent, but that's the way I like it, baby. I don't wanna live forever. Okay then, through the mincer or the grinder, whatever you wanna call it, twice. Just have a look at this. Let's just get that into nice, manageable strips. Have a look at that doesn't it look wonderful beautiful beautiful beef so what we got in here then we had 500 grams of that beautiful marbled sirloin 500 grams of brisket gives us a thousand grams one kilo so for every kilo of meat I'm gonna put two grams of pepper ten of salt now I don't want to season this I don't want to play about with this, don't want to add spices, herbs, too much seasoning, I want the biff to speak for itself. So what I'm gonna do then, just get my hands in here, give it a little mix up, we'll press them out. Okay then, so we're not gonna weigh these out. What we're gonna do, just half, do you reckon, put a bit on there, and then half again, like that, half again, and then we'll just half these bad boys. Just a rough ball, not shaping them together too hard. And then we're gonna press them with my cool new press. So just in your hand, ball them up. Job is a good one. So we need to press those lovely patties out and I'm gonna use this fantastic press here. Now it's gotta be one of the most asked questions I get, Scott, what burger press do you use? Where'd you get them from? Well, this is a new one I've got, it's an Edelman KD2. I've got this from Weschenfelder. Now Weschenfelder, they specialize in sausage making kits, bacon curing, burgers, they sell the whole lot. They sell these great burger presses, 
burger discs, even my mincer is from Weschenfelder. Trust me, get on there. I shall put all the links in the bottom. Uh, check them out. They have got some great kit. And I'm going to tell you now, I've been using their game seasoning, their venison seasonings for a long time. You'll struggle to find better seasonings. But do check them out, you know, especially if you like sausage making. You can get all the skins, all the rusk, all their seasonings and curing salts, the whole lot. Including this wonderful Edelman's Burger Press. Now, these aren't the cheapest things on the market, but believe you me, you buy this once, you will be handing this down to your children. It's indestructible, a great bit of kit. So what we do then, we put a patty on, one burger paper, put another one on top, put our Burger Press on and just gently Press it down and there you have a burger, perfectly, perfectly formed. Just look at that, just look at the colour of it. So one more then, burger paper, patty mix, one on top, get yourself one of these, Weschenfelder, link in the comment and away you go. Right, so I should just do the rest and we'll start cooking them. Okay then, there is my stack of burgers ready to rock and roll. I'm just going to get these on chill for a few minutes while we gather all the other usual suspects for this epic burger. And do check out the guys at Weschenfelder. So for these rock and roll SRP burgers then, we have a brioche bun, some red onion, some sliced tomatoes, some pickles, some shredded lettuce, some proper cheese, none of that bright orange glow in the dark, nuclear iridescent crap, proper cheddar. And then of course we need some decent bacon. I got some dry cured smoked streaky. Now also we need some mayo, we need some mustard. So it only makes sense to make a mayo mustard. So please pass me the mustard. What the No chance. Take two. Someone pass me the mustard. You know the drill. Mayo. Moutard. Now I've made this up from the powder. Oh yeah, 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 look at that. They call me mellow yellow. Not so mellow yellow. Give that a... That's lovely. Okay, let's build a burger. So as the late, great Glenn Frey once said, the heat is on. Get my cheese on. Little spot of water. Cover. So the steam rises, hits the top, goes back down, melts that cheese. It doesn't take very long at all. Bacon is perfecto. The burgers, get out. I like a glove. Brioche in half. Give it some of that. Oh, just look at the flavour. Bit of, uh, how's your father? A bit of, how's your father? What's all that about? A bit of shredded lettuce. Just like that. Bit of the old onion on that. Burger. Just get that. Put some bacon. Some of 
some tomato, some of that pickle. Finish it off with a bit of that on the top. Job is a good one. How's that looking, my friends? Hey, it's sex in a bun, baby. Dirty job, but someone's got to do it. Mm. Mm. Have a look at it. Mm. Wow, now you know a burger is all about getting messy. There's no good way to eat a burger, you just got to get it down your Gregory Peck, you know. Look at that, look how that cheese fits on there. Oh, have a word, here we go. Slowly, 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 moisture dripping down. It's wrong on <laughs> so many levels, look at it. Well, there you have it, you beautiful people, the SRP cheeseburger. Yes, it was decadent. Yes, it was over the top, but my God, it rocked a beautiful thing. So if you've liked what you've seen here today on the SRP, please click subscribe when my little face comes up somewhere down here, you know, about here. Also check me out on my social media on Facebook, Scott Ree, go to my page, click follow. Also the Scott Ree Project page on Facebook, get on there, click follow. On my Twitter, at Scott Ree Project. And if you're feeling beautiful and generous, you groovy bunch, check out my Patreon page. So until next time, I've got this little mouthful left. Just have a look at it. You know what it's saying, don't you? Eat me. Eat me. Okay. All the best. Take care.